Alright guys, it's Barry here from Gaming Gem and in this video we're going to have a quick look at how to apply equalization to your audio file headphones. Now if you don't know what equalization is, it is simply the ability to change the bass, mids and treble frequencies of the sound that your headphones produce. Uh, there's a couple of ways to go about doing this. I'm not an audio engineer but I'm going to show you how I do it with a few presets from people that know what they're talking about. Now you might be asking yourself why you'd want this, but the answer is pretty simple. It cuts out any frequencies that are basically noise and reduce the quality of the sound that you're hearing through your headphones and it allows you to focus on the sounds that actually matter most. This is great for gaming, it's great for music and I really recommend that you do it to get the absolute most out of your audio file headphones. Without equalization, you're, you're really not getting the most out of the headphones that you're using. So let's jump into the video. So the first step is to install Equalizer APO. Uh, it's a small application that will allow us to adjust the frequencies for the headset. So first things first, go over to the, this website. The link will be in the description. Click download, grab the .exe and run it. You'll get the following setup and click next until it's finished installing. Once Equalizer APO is finished installing, you'll be presented with this configurator screen. This is a list of the devices that you have in your system. Pick the one that your headphone is, your headphones are connected to. I've called mine rear Sennheisers. If you're not sure which device here is your headset, you can come down to sounds and click playback. And this will be the same the same devices here and you can kind of test to see which ones you've got on default for your headset. I'd also recommend coming in here, clicking properties and changing the icon so you get an idea of, so you know in the future which is which. Um, you can also rename them here, it makes it a lot easier to figure out which device is which. But anyway, click the device that is related to your headset and click install. All right, so now that you've got Equalizer APO installed and you've restarted your machine, we're going to grab a GUI for being able to edit your frequencies easier rather than doing it through Equalizer APO. Peace Equalizer is a really easy way of doing this. So grab the link in the description and uh, download the .exe, run the setup, and you'll be presented with this window. Here it'll tell you whether Equalizer APO is installed Here's my install folder, so let's find it. Click install. Peace should go into the same folder as you installed Equalizer APO. If at any point during the installation, Peace asks you to restart your system after you've installed it, please click yes and come back to the video once you've done that so that the settings take effect. Once you've installed Peace, open it up and you'll be greeted with this window here. I recommend that you choose the full interface when you start up piece it gives you two options whether you want the simplified or the advanced pick the advanced so you get all the features available to you now that you've got piece running you can test to see whether equalizer apo is installed correctly on your device so i recommend choosing radio down here to really change up the frequencies that you can see here on your headset and make sure that it's turned on up here once you've done that play some music or some sound music is usually the best way of testing it out to see whether you can notice the difference by turning this off so that by when you when you have it off it's just your standard sound stage of your headphones without any equalization turn it on will turn on peace and the equalizer apo and the equalization and you should notice a significant dis difference if you've got radio turned on it'll sound a lot tinnier this just lets us know that equalizer apo has been installed correctly and that peace is working so that we can then look to import the presets, which is in the next step. If you notice by turning this off and on, you're not having any difference, uh, noticing any difference in your audio. It might have been the Equalizer APO didn't install correctly, which is what happened to me. There's a really easy way of fixing this. If you navigate to where you installed Equalizer APO and you run the configurator, you'll be presented with this screen again. Click down here on the troubleshooting options and select the device that you've installed. Make sure these are both ticked and it will likely be here 
you'll likely have install as LFX, GFX. Change it to install as SFX, EFX, and it will ask you to restart again. So do that, restart, come back to here, do the same test again, testing this off and on, off and on, and you should notice the difference. All right, so now that we've got Equalizer APO installed, we've got PCAPO installed, and the equalization is working, we can now start looking at importing some presets. So navigate to the GitHub page that's in the link in the description, and this will give you a list of loads and loads of presets for a huge range of audiophile headphones. Download this by going up here and just saying download zip, unzip it, and you'll get all this information here. Once you've downloaded it and unzipped it, navigate to the results folder and in here you'll get a list of different options for presets. Now I recommend that you check out each one because they're all slightly different. But when you come down into this folder and you select whatever headphones you've got, for example I've got Sennheiser 600s, you want to grab the parametric eq.txt of each of the one of each of the different presets from the different companies grab all them and copy them into a folder so that you can easily find them for importing into piece come back to piece and click this import button down here and then just navigate to wherever you've saved them I just chuck them on my desktop, find them, import them, and then you'll find them down here in the bottom left. Now, if you play some more music or listen to some, some form of audio and toggle between the different presets, then you'll obviously notice a great difference in, in, in audio quality because the equalization will have filtered out some of the unnecessary frequencies. Make sure that you also include oratory 1990s presets as these are the most recommended in the guide. He's done a lot of individual tests on a range of different in-ear and over-ear headphones. So depending on what headphones you've got, come into here and find the headphones that you're, you're using. And you want to grab the parametric eq.txt again and download that and import it into piece through the import folder, through the import button. Now you can go in here and change these values yourself if you like, but these have been preset by actual audio engineers. Uh, so it's de definitely recommended to keep them, you know, around the same. You can tweak the, the amplifying, the, the preamp to make it louder or quieter. Uh, obviously louder sometimes seems better, but it's not always better. All right, so that is a quick tutorial on how to set up equalization for your audiophile headphone. Hopefully you've noticed an increase in audio quality from the equalization and you found this video useful. If you have, please hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. Cheers guys.